the Langdale Valley, renowned for its high fells and dramatic scenery. But not everyone wants to take to the mountains. This superb six mile walk is ideal for those that want to enjoy the Langdale Valley's dramatic scenery, but want to stay at low level. It takes you from New Dungeon Gill, where there's plenty of parking, to the village of Elterwater, then back again along the valley floor. I'm starting the walk from the little car park that's opposite the driveway that leads to the New Dungeon Gill Hotel. We just turn left out of the car park and walk a little way down the road. Yeah, just before you get to the entrance to that car park on the right, we turn left. To walk along that track. Following the sign for Oak Howe. We're heading for that farmhouse in the distance. It's called Side House. And this, and the sun's behind it at the minute, but that's Side Pike. Take the path that runs to the left hand side of the buildings and go through this gate. Cross this little bridge, then turn left to follow this path through the field. And up this hill. It's actually pretty much the only hill on the entire walk. Once at the top, you just follow this track for the next mile or so. Enjoying these superb views across the valley. Opposite is White Gill Crag, which is really popular with rock climbers. Several really good routes up that. Navigation is easy. You just follow the track and the yellow arrows. When you reach this junction, turn right. Following the sign for Chapel Style and Ambleside. And follow this track through the woods. When you reach Bayes Brown Farm, carry straight on. Following the road, back into the woods. Ignore this junction, just stay on the road. Eventually you'll reach this T-junction. Just simply turn left and walk down the hill. At the bottom, turn left again and walk into Elterwater Village. And when you've had a good browse around, just retrace your steps to the bridge to continue the walk. You need to turn left up this access road. Just bear in mind that it's used by heavy lorries moving to and from the quarries. About a quarter of a mile up the road we reach this junction. Turn right here to walk down towards the river. Just follow the path to this junction and then bear right. We're heading for Chapel Style over this footbridge. Follow the road around this right hand bend. The walk goes left. But you could take a detour straight on to Langdale Co-op. An interesting little shop. At this school sign, turn left. Following the sign for Bayes Brown Campsite. When you reach the junction, turn left and follow the path through our souls houses, keeping to the right of them. There are plenty of signs to show the way. Go through this gate and along the walled path to the road beyond. When you reach the road, turn left. Again following the sign for Bayes Brown. Down this concrete road and over that bridge.
on past the campsite and out onto the valley floor. And this should be the view that greets you. That's Harrison Stickle in the middle. The dark looking cliff face to the right is Pavey Arc, with Loft Crag and Pika Stickle to the left. About a mile further on, the path bears left, but we're going to go right over that bridge, following the sign for Great Langdale. The path is easy to follow, and at the next junction we turn left. Again following the sign for Great Langdale. At this junction we turn left again, to follow the track back to the car park, with the ever impressive Langdale Pikes to our right. If you want to download a PDF file with instructions for the route and a map, click this link. Or to view a longer video of the walk, click here.